Welcome to Castle Academy's Trust. We want you to take a few moments to capture our lives through the pandemic in 2020, and more importantly, reflect on the values that we hold dear to our hearts and how we've demonstrated those within our schools and our students and their families. So this is a video about who we are at our core, at our best, and how resilient we are, and how that despite the challenges of this year, that the schools have done exceptionally well. And I thank every single staff member and I thank all of our students for what they've achieved this year. I now hand over to David Martin, the head teacher at Artham Academy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Candola. What a 12 months families have been on recently. It really has been a roller coaster of a journey. And how have we responded? We've responded with care and compassion. I think for me, the key thing that I'm going to take away from this whole experience is how key family play in, in our current time. Making sure that we're always looking out for one another. Making sure that we're always pulling in the same direction. So at the start of the school year, we had this app called Parent Mail and they've been sending us homework through Parent Mail and helping us with any questions we had. I'm glad that technology has existed and the internet existed or would have been behind in our studies. During the lockdown, inside school, um, I was delivering online sleep studies and some jobby lessons for the secondary students. I was creating and then uploading my own videos that I was making at home. Staff worked hours longer than their usual working hours, sometimes from morning till late at night, supporting the children with their learning, supporting the children with their well-being. If we, did, like, if we didn't feel happy at home or anything like that, the teacher was always there to talk to, just to make sure we were feeling happy at home as well as we would have done at school. I meditated during lockdown. This supported my well-being. If my well-being is positive, only then I can support others. Lockdown has taught me the importance of community and the importance of family. In lockdown, I helped elderly people, like um, people who are at home and have nobody to help them. I made a few um, leaflets and which we put phone numbers on there. And then after, we put them through people's doors and the little options on there, so like food, shopping, clothes or anything, we could buy it for them and put it through their door. I really enjoyed my homework and the homework was really fun to do. I've learned that we should um, care about others and ourselves and we must also care about our health because it's very important. I've learned that when I do my best I'm happy and we should try to keep in touch with our learning and we should take care of ourselves and others. And being away from each other made us actually really appreciate how much time we spend together and we actually missed them and I actually missed coming back to work and wanting to come back to work. And I think that we all should like have express our feelings in any way that we possibly can. And I think that it's very good that we had the teachers there to talk to. What wonderful, powerful messages we've just heard. What a journey staff, students, families have been on. I would now like to hand over to our sister school in Wolverhampton. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. I think one of the key things for us here at Carlisle Academy Wolverhampton has been the fact that the values that we have as a trust have been an integral part of helping us, not just the pupils, but also the staff at the school. Values such as Dea, which is compassion, Himmeth, which is courage, and Bjar, which is love, have been really important and integral again to how we have got through this pandemic. I think that the whole ethos that we have as a trust, which is to work together and to support one another and really take time for our mental health and you know our well-being and, and make sure that we're, we're looking out for one another has been really, really prominent during this time. I believe that lockdown has helped raise awareness within the Asian community regarding mental health. Uh, it was almost seen as a taboo subject and almost frowned upon, laughed upon 
brushed, brushed aside, man up, those kind of things. This year has taught me to be compassionate to others and to feel compassion within my heart and my soul and with everyone that I meet. In year six, lockdown was hard because we missed, missed a lot of work, including our sets. And, but the, teacher, the teachers came drop, dropping work at our door, so that helped us a lot. We don't know as teachers what our students have been through and in turn they don't know what is going on with us as well. So I would say that to have compassion and to be compassionate to others is actually one of the most important attributes that we can have as a human being. During the first lockdown, I was very fortunate to be in a position to support the NHS and volunteer my time. It's definitely brought us together as a community and it's definitely helped me understand my role in the world. Throughout lockdown, I help by uh, cutting my neighbour's grass for uh, every two weeks because his mother is not really well at the moment as she's 97 years old so I played my part by opting to cut his grass. During lockdown I did local drop-offs to my family um, as their class is the elderly and vulnerable. This has taught me the importance of giving and not taking things for granted. During lockdown my teachers really helped me as I was able to contact them through Instagram DMs and they were able to address any concerns that I had. Also, on the first two days of school, we had drop down days where we focused on our personal development, which really helped us transition into sixth form life. As a school, we helped uh, our sister schools. We worked collaboratively on the new curriculum for Key Stage 3. So that supported us all at a difficult time when we wouldn't be able to generally rely on each other. So it was good to do that. Also, the pastoral team and the school helped the students uh, through the period by staying in touch, making calls, video calls home doing food drop-offs. What this year has taught me is the importance of family and friends. During lockdown, I have learned that no matter what happens, my family will always be there for me and they love me no matter what. Wow, what fantastic stories we've just heard from staff and pupils at Carlsa Academy Wolverhampton. I'd now like to pass you to our sister school, Carlsa Secondary Academy. Thank you very much, Anita. Lockdown was a very strange time for everybody. We didn't quite know what was happening. We didn't quite know where it was heading. Um, really quite a troublesome time, I think, for lots of parents, lots of students, lots of staff. But what I would say about the students and staff here at Calsa is they coped very, very well with that first lockdown. Students were somehow able to remain focused on their studies. A lot of learning was set remotely by our teachers, including live lessons, and our staff stayed in regular contact with tutees and with families. It's been a very challenging year. It's been a very interesting year, and it's been a year I hope we never get to repeat. But it's also been a year where Kalsa Secondary Academy has stepped up to the plate and has achieved great things despite the adversities that we've faced. Here at KSA we have strong values and a strong ethos and it's built on the idea of the wheel as one. And one of the key things on that wheel is compassion. And this year that the whole idea of compassion has supported me in so many different ways. The idea, the fact that it reminds me that we need to be compassionate towards each other and within ourselves as well. The fact that we are now checking up on our friends and our neighbours and those people that we weren't so close with. It's amazing. During lockdown, yeah, I supported my um, elderly neighbour because he lives by himself here yeah, and I thought he's probably like, very sad about it. So I started playing chess with him every day online, of course. And uh, it was really funny because I used to play every day and uh, the guy was really good as well. In lockdown, I have learned how important it is to be with your family uh, and I realised how lockdown can affect your mental health, uh, which made me realise how important mental health is. So as mental health lead at Kalsa Secondary Academy, uh, my focus during lockdown um, to help support the students and staff was to do as much as I could really to support them emotionally. Um, this would include uh, every week on a Wednesday I would post something on our Google Classroom page that was relating to mental health. So it could be um, a link to an agency, external agency that could support them, or it could be an inspirational quotation, something that I thought would benefit the students. So one thing that we did during lockdown, which might seem small, 
but it really does help is ring some of the students and say happy birthday. It actually means so much and they get so excited, so it means a lot. And also just ringing students and emailing them and having conversations back and forth and seeing how everything's going. My teachers really helped me because they really understood how I went through lockdown because they went, went through it as well. I would also make some phone calls home and correspond with parents if there were concerns with particular students just to check in and to make sure that if they did need support um, ongoing I could provide that support for them. During lockdown the teachers really supported us in various different ways. There was continuous live lessons all the time, they were really fast at replying to emails, they were always posting and checking up on us and they were just there for us overall. Returning back to school they did help a lot. They gave us assessments, they gave us catch-up work, especially with coursework coming for next year. Um, regarding stress, I recently experienced it and I had to go to my teachers and they did really help a lot. On return, um, I reacted to the needs of our students. So we um, noticed an increase in some mental health conditions and we have provided some support to our students. For example, inviting external visitors to come in and to deliver some talks to our students. Overall, the teachers at KSA are so supportive and just amazing. As we all know, it has been a very precedented year for us. But I also believe that being indoor, being in the, our own bubbles, we have learned lots of good things, good behaviours. Uh, rather, I should say that we had all those good habits in us, we had all those understanding and behaviours in us, but we were taking everything for granted. In lockdown, I became a crisis volunteer for Shout and gave up a couple of hours a week to support those who are struggling or in need. In lockdown, I, I donated to charity some, some masks, free masks and hand gel so they can protect themselves. Over lockdown this year, I started my training to become a Makaton tutor. Makaton is a sign-in system for young people with additional learning needs, so it allows neurotypical teachers, i.e. teachers that don't have any additional needs, to communicate better with their students. During lockdown, I learned not to take things for granted and to spend more quality time with your family and friends. I helped my parents in lockdown by cleaning the house. During lockdown, I learned that, the, that your home isn't to be taken for granted and that life isn't always going about, like going outside with your friends or just playing football and family is very important. We've been running lots of projects with the help of Khalsa Academy's Trust and Khalsa Secondary Academy, Evening Kirtan Divans, Saj Fart, all run by our students and parents and staff. We also set up some um, emotional health and well-being workshops for staff as we are very um, keen to make sure that the staff here are also kept um, emotionally well and are able to thrive in their positions at the school. The latest project that we are working on is mental well-being, taking care of our staff, students and parents. Every week we are running online workshops and we hope to continue to look after everyone as a community. And I think most of us in this lockdown, we begin to ask our families, the how are they? And appreciating what they're doing for us by saying thank you. And just saying thank you to them as well. It means a lot. Thank you is a small word, small word, but it has a big difference. We decided that this year, we need to laugh more. We just need to laugh. <laughs> I can't get undone. Wow, um, so impressive, all of the comments from our students and from our staff. Really moving to hear how people have coped during these challenging months. And really humbling to know that people have found different ways of managing through these difficult times. On behalf of Artem, on behalf of Tikal, and on behalf of us at Cal Sahir, on behalf of the entire Trust and all of our schools, I wish you and your family very safe times, happy and peaceful times ahead. Thank you very much.